At the moment, have you any invention you've worked on? One that's near complete? Oh, so kind. Oh, wonderful, you should ask. See, I've, uh, I've ever had an avian fascination. Uh, for birds, you see. Their wings, bones. The structure's perfect. The aerodynamicism, the, the, the plumage. In short, I believe I can fly. I beg your pardon? Yes. Yes, I, I'm learning to fly. 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 You've not misheard. I, Barnabas Beckenbauer, will be the first norm... Oh, what am I saying? The first mammal to free himself of the soil's bondage and soar to the clouds. Hmm. But aren't bats also... A detail. This is no time to be petty, no. But frankly, my preparations are far advanced, and I'm rather optimistic about my design and prospects. I've calculated every trajectory, every force. It all works out. Just need to do a few more field tests. Did you have volunteers try it, or did you test the design yourself? Naturally, I must stay on the ground who take all the measurements elsewise. Uh, luckily, there's no lack of thrill-seekers in Mahakam. More eager to etch themselves into the annals. My first prototype, the Sky Licker, I dubbed it. Oh, Your Majesty, if you'd only seen the beauty. Flew over a hundred and twenty L's. Truly? Colour me impressed indeed. Must have made quite the name for himself, your brave volunteer. I'm certain he's caught the eye of every she-dwarf in Mahakam since. Oh, no, he's dead. The landing, it was rough. And then a bear sauntered by, uh, didn't help any. Anyhow, as he died, the dwarf swore he regretted nothing. Brave lad. A bit daft, though. <clears throat> I see. But the next time you request I try one of your inventions, I'd ask you to remind me of this touching tale. Long you've travelled, Barnabas. The wonders you must have seen. Likely visited many exotic lands before you reached Mahakam. Oh, Corvia, yes. Matina, yes. Nazir, doubly. Zerikania, God, yes. And Korath, even. I mean, such beauty there, though. Hot. Oh, dreadfully so. Horrible place to grow turnips, if you've ever a mind to try. Novigrad lived there a spell as well, but I didn't much care for it. Why ever not? The Hierarch, intractable man, banned one of my inventions, condemned it as unholy, vile, etc., etc. Decided he would burn both of us at the stake. As you can imagine, we had a difference of opinion in that regard. <laughs> Perhaps I shall regret this, but do tell. What was the thing you created, exactly? <laughs> I knew you'd be interested. You've a curious mind, dear Queen. We're two peas of a feather. Quite the clever contraption it was. Made for a widow, wealthy, but aching with longing. In her husband's absence, tormented by unfulfilled needs. Stop right there. I knew I'd regret asking. And see, it had this special crank that when rotated... Barnabas, no, enough. As you command, Your Majesty. But if you ever get the urge to see it, I have the prototype still tucked away in my trunk. Noted. But by the gods, please, let's change the subject.